Hi, good morning everyone. Um, in case hindi kayo maka-join sa live ko later, um, our morning devotion for today is based on the Version Bible app is Matthew 6 verse 33. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and He will give you everything you need. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. So for those people who are suffering or struggling with fears and worries, hold on on this promise of God. That what are the things that we need to do so that our prayer should be, will be answered? Because first we are going to seek God and we have to, in our actions, we have to inline or realign it with God. So that God will give, um, God will reward us in everything we need, right? So we have to change our priorities. I know sa sobrang pagod or sobrang busy natin that our priorities is different. But it is nice to start, it would be best that we would, our number one priority to start our day is to seek God by talking to Him. And by reading the Bible, right? So, as, as from the moment we align ourselves with God, He promised to have our back with regard to other things in life that might cause you to be afraid or worry, right? Again, we should not worry of what's tomorrow. We are going to focus today. Another reminder, as in Matthew 6, verse 34, Sabi niya, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will care for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So we are just going to focus on today. That's why dun lumalaba, lumalabas yung pagka-overthinking natin. O yung pag-worry, paano to? Ano nangyayari bukas? Sana ko hahanap ng ganito. Be still. Be still. Just focus on the promises of God that He will never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, what are we going to pray for today is that, Lord, please strengthen me. I know that the, alam mo naman yung mga worries ko, what will happen if, after. But you told me not to focus on today. So, bigyan mo ko ng lakas to hold on to your promises. ba? To be fearful about tomorrow is to lose your peace and victory today. So, we have to let it go right? Kasi if we focus on our fear of what's gonna happen tomorrow, it is one way of telling God that we don't trust Him. And how can He give everything we need if we don't live righteously or we don't believe in Him? So that is one thing we'll always remind ourselves once we worry. We are telling the problem that they are bigger than our God. But we have to do it the other way around. That God is bigger and our worries. Alam ko, medyo mahirap. But this is the battle of faith talaga, ba? This is how much we love God and believe that He is in control. So, one grace at a time. Another reason din kung bakit um, napaka-importante natin isisik si God first thing in the morning. Because sabi niya, huwag ka mag-worry bukas. Ngayon ka mag-focus. Kasi my compassion never fails every morning, nire-renew ko yung heart mo. Diba? His compassion never fails. It's always new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Diba? Yeah, it is nice to start your day right by prioritizing, prioritizing God. Again, he said, seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need so I challenge you in our very busy schedule. Um, there are a lot of distractions as we wake up in the morning. I must admit that. Um, it is nice to show to God um, that we prioritize Him and that we are going to surrender our day for today. Right? Amen. So let us pray. Lord and Father, we are going to ask um, your help right now, Lord, to 
identify our anxieties and our fears. Help us learn to let it go. Strengthen us, Lord, to hold on to your promises. Right now, we are continually going to seek you, Lord, and we wanted to uh, straighten our paths. Help us, Lord, to live righteously so that our all prayers are going to be answered. Just give us the things that we need to survive this day, Lord, and help us, Lord, to hold on to your promises. Bless our members here right now. Bless their work, their studies, their heart right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day.